Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. You join me once again in my Mark 7 Golf R to talk about how you can get a BMW M2 for £25,000. So yeah, I'll get straight into this one. So yes, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is all well. And if you're familiar with my channel, I kind of like to talk about cars which are a little bit more real world, a little bit more attainable, but hopefully special at the same time for us car enthusiasts or just general sort of car people. And today I was thinking a lot about cars such as like the M135i, turned into the M114, obviously you got the new M135i, and you've got the M2, you've got like the M2 competition, you've got the M2CS, there's loads of so many different variants that try to step it up a notch on each one. Now I actually think the lower versions of those are actually the ones to go for, because you're still getting a fantastic package of a car, and um, for a, a far more affordable price, again, why I like my three-door manual, it's a, the same package at the best possible price, that's just the type of person I am, and I was looking around, and I've, you know, I've always been such a strong admirer of the M2. It looks special, it looks kind of like a sports car, but you could still potentially even daily it. Um, it's that kind of, like, amazing car. Um, it's not huge power, you know, original 2016 M2s had around two, um, 365 brake horsepower from its 3-litre six-cylinder engine, which is just ridiculous. Okay, it's turbocharged, but it's still a fantastic engine. And that was actually the same engine that was in the M135i, and they then revised it for the 140 and then in later generation M2 competitions and in the M2CS, and I can go on and on and on. But anyway, I checked on Auto Trade and I was like, how much can you get an M2 in 2016 these days? You know, what would you have to pay to get that car? Well, I found one for £25,000 and I'll put it just uh, like to the side of me. And that's ones in grey, which kind of suits my kind of daily requirements. I love the wheels actually from that generation of M2. Okay, it's done a few miles, 60,000 miles, but you know, it's been looked after. You can get a low, you know, low owned one. You know, it hasn't been owned by too many people. You're in for a good car. Ultimately, people who are owning it want it to be running well. So, yes, it's an attainable car at a very good price. You know, you get like a, a Mazda, <laughs> like saloon car, brand new for that kind of money, and it's never going to put the same sort of smile on your face as a car like that. Um, yeah, and it's just brilliant because you look at like, I think it's kind of lost the plot in manufacture in some ways. The M2CS at like £75,000 is just ridiculous. I'd be going Cayman GT4 all day long. Um, and even the M2 competition, you know, you're talking £40,000, forty, forty-five, fifty thousand pounds just it just is. And a lot of what a lot of real car enthusiasts like is not the bang straight line performance, albeit that is obviously a, a proportion of it. It's the feel of the car, it's the handling of the car, it's the sound of the car, um, the price of the car. <laughs> and um, yeah, the standard M2 just hit it. I, I loved it in blue. Um, there was one near my work when it came out in 2016. And I'd always see it and I'd just be like, wow, what a piece of kit to be able to own and to be able to kind of justify. Um, they're great little cars. That one particular has a manual gearbox as well, so it's plenty involving. You can get them with a DCT, again, under £30,000. So just, you know, really what I want to say to you lot is we're coming up to Christmas. What, what, well, the Christmas kind of period, the back end of 2020, which I'm sure we all want to forget. And we're about a week away from November now. And if you're looking to get a car which could potentially could hold its money, something like that, I think would be a, a cracking thing, almost as a toy. If you can have a second car, if you've got enough space on your driveway, you can have a bit of fun, and then you can easily come to sort of like April, May, if you want to get out of it, um, June, and you'd probably get most of your money back. It's the time of year, it's the seasonal time. Um, and it's not the stupidest decision you'd ever make. And you're driving around in a car like that, it's just brilliant. Um, yes, we'd all love to step into a showroom and probably buy an M2CS, but at that kind of price, it just, it would scare me to drive it on the road, frankly. Whereas this car, it's, all, it's already a bit rough and ready. Um, people seem to forget engines take time to actually bed in and to get the most power out of them. Between the first sort of 10, 20, even 30,000 miles, some cars aren't even run in. Um, and people completely forget that. Engines take a lot of time to really get the maximum out of them. Um, I remember hearing that about the 718 GT4. 25 to 30,000 miles before that engine is, you know, producing its sort of peak power. Um, 
you know, most people who buy that car new aren't even going to get it to that kind of uh, range. So the used car market has never been a better place for car enthusiasts. I think it's time for us to kind of act now because obviously things are going the other way, which is a big shame. Um, you know, again, in a different world, it's certainly something that I'd be looking to get. If I had more space on the drive, I think that's probably the main thing. <laughs> um, it would certainly be something that I'd be looking at as a spare car, just as a bit of fun. And um, yeah, it's something I wanted to share with you, not to despair when you see all these huge car prices. If you watch Car Wow or something and they say, oh, we'll save you £2,000 off this brand new car. Trust me, you're going to lose a fortune on it in um, a couple of years time when it comes needing to get rid of it. Whereas this car, you can be a little bit more flexible. You might even be able to pay it outright or you might be able to pay a fair amount more towards it. And you're going to get a lot more back at the end of it. So I just think that's quite an incredible car to kind of talk about at that kind of price um yeah and it's well worth i fancied sharing it today and um yeah two videos today actually so um yeah be sure to subscribe to my channel you know i do a lot of vw content but i love my hot hatches hot um yeah sports cars yeah anything automotive i'm always <laughs> i'm always talking about and always enjoying it um you know it's a real world channel and hopefully this is some helpful advice to someone and um yeah to get a absolutely fantastic car you live once um, but you should be sort of sensible at the same time in terms of what you're doing and um yeah if you're looking for a brand new car at this stage and you know maybe maybe look elsewhere maybe look at something like this if you want to have that bit of fun and um yeah a decent german badge as well for one thing that's that's a big thing to say but yeah let me know what you think do you reckon twenty five thousand pounds is a good deal um, I don't think, you know, BMWs are pretty strong, the motor's pretty strong, potentially you could get a little warranty with it if you wanted to be safe. Um, and yeah, have some fun, you know, enjoy it, and you can enjoy it within the limits, that's the thing. I mean, when they first came out, um, you know, it would barely get away from my Mark 7 Fiesta ST at the time, you know, they're not mega fast in the straights, but that's not all what it's about. It's about the noise, the feel, a bit of the looks as well, very muscular car. And um, yeah, something I really wanted to talk about, I wanted to share with you, um, yeah, share with you today. Let, let me know what you think in the comments. £25,000, I think that's a great deal for, um, yeah, for car enthusiasts out there who are potentially like, just like me, you know, I sit there going like, you know, for fuck's sake, I ain't going to afford that, <laughs> literally, whether, you, whether or not you can afford it outright anyway or afford the payments you know, coming out of it at the end is what's going to hurt you, you know, in a world where times are tough, think about what you're doing kind of thing, but you can still have fun at the same time, cars are costly, but you can still make it work, and um, yeah, have the experience to kind of show for it, but listen, thanks so much for watching, um, you know, stay tuned, plenty more content to come, we've got the Mark 8 Golf R coming out in a week and a half, which I'm going to do plenty of content on, um, that's cool, the reveal, um, yeah, and plenty more like up to date latest content as well on sort of like fast forwards. I'm hoping they're going to start producing something really interesting soon, and with the RS kind of not existing anymore. Club Sport products, um, Porsche, you know, they're at the back end and now doing a lot of their testing on the GT4 RS, the GT3 RS. It's all exciting stuff, and um, yeah, there's plenty to look forward to, and plenty to um, stay tuned to on this channel. But thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment as well. Let me know your thoughts. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. And thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.